Hello everybody and welcome back to the Nostalgic Farming Simulator 2009 series. So before we get into this second episode, what we're going to do is just go into settings and I'm going to show you the time scale. It's currently set to time 60. This is the fastest you can have it. You can actually go back down all the way to real time, which is tempting, but I'm going to put it to times 4 today. I'm going to save that in a second. Um, but one thing to note is in Farming Simulator 2009, the time scale didn't affect the crop growth speed. That was a totally different thing, which you couldn't really adjust that easily. You could do it in the XML files, but you had to know what you were doing. So here we are in the game, and yes, of course, what we're going to be doing today is a bit of cotton. Now, cotton is obviously not something that was in the base game for 2009. In fact, it was a very special crop to us since we only had canola, wheat, barley and maize. In fact, this is a mod map and it actually does have the multi-fruit installed onto it, which is fantastic. I thought these mods had all disappeared, but I've actually managed to find one, which is brilliant news. If you do want to download it, if it's still available when you watch the video, then the link will be down below. So basically, what I'm going to do first of all is just run through the different crop types we have. Now, one thing I do want to say is some of these crop types are duplicated I think um, and some of them I don't even know which ones I don't even know what they are I don't even know what crops they are so if obviously if there's anywhere I say I'm not too sure what that is please feel free to point it out it'd be very helpful anyway on the far right hand side of the screen you can see we've got the wheat maize I think they're yellow beans but I'm not entirely sure carrots peas in a pod cabbage runner beans cauliflower parsnips sunflowers Lettuce, something, I have no idea. Uh, something else which I have no idea about, I'm not too sure. Spinach? Nah, I, I don't know. I I'm at risk of sounding like an idiot if I try and guess. Um, something else? Rye, possibly? Cotton, that's definitely cotton. Poppies? Mm, that might be rye, or oats, I'm not too sure. Uh, or they're the yellow beans. Who knows? Red cabbage? <laughs> I don't know. Um, more yellow beans. Yeah, as you can see, this has gone pear-shaped. Barley, grass, and green wheat. Possibly for silage, I'm not too sure. Potatoes, canola, and back to wheat again. So, yeah, that was a bit of a disaster, but if you have any idea what they all are, I do actually have a list. I should have printed it off. Um, then feel free to post down below. But, yeah, basically, you plant everything with the same drill. This is the biggest drill in the base game, but there was the horse pack in the gold edition. Now, um, yeah, the weight of each vehicle in the physics was pretty poor, as you're about to see. There you go. Uh, but not to worry. What we need to do is get this field just done really. I'm just going to do a very quick strip because I've already planted enough for this episode. Um, the crop growth speed was notoriously slow. As mentioned at the beginning it was possible to change it with a load of numbers um, but yeah you had to know the basics of what you were doing. You didn't have to be a genius because uh, I actually did it myself but yeah you have to have a guide. So yeah basically all you have to do is you just run through, choose the crop which you want to plant as you would do with FS17. Of course we're going to do cotton and yeah it's just like any other drill just plant it. You don't have to fill up the drills in Farming Simulator 09 it's just unlimited and off it goes. Whatever was on the front of the tractor also got lowered as well with the drill if you put it on a worker um, but that is causing a little bit of lag. But that's all I've done over here. I had three tractors on the go, three Fent 936 tractors and it did a really good job. Um, as you can probably see, some of this actually isn't quite ripe, but the majority is ripe, so we can give it a go. Now, slightly embarrassed to say this, since I was such a fan of 09, and I played so many hours, probably more hours I've spent on 09 than I have on 17, um, but I have never harvested cotton, ever. <laughs> it's really hard to believe, but it's true. So this is the John Deere 7760 Cotton Picker with beacons, which actually makes it look amazing, and many lights. Um, yeah, I always thought these things looked a bit like a snail, but that's probably just me being childish. That was when I was playing this game, which was almost 10 years ago. Anyway, let's uh, go over here. Yeah, as I said, I didn't actually use the cotton picker 
It was from looking at other people's screenshots when I thought it looked like a snail. This first piece isn't actually ready, but as mentioned, um, or is it? Actually, it might be. I think it is ready, you know. Yeah, it's notoriously slow. So all we have to do is press G, and it should begin. There we go. So the first time ever in the whole time FS09 has been out, I am harvesting cotton. Would you believe it? And yeah, it's as simple as this. Obviously I have had to practice a bit, just so I didn't start the episode saying, look, this is how you do cotton. And then I go, hmm, actually, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so I thought I might as well just do a very quick trial run before this. Uh, so yeah, the steering wheel seems to have deactivated again. I did set it up for yesterday. It is 78% full, so the first big bale of cotton will be coming out the back. Now, again, I'm really sad to hear this, but um, there was a very good auto stacker for the cotton bales, but the download link has now broken. So we have to press number four, and our first cotton bale has been released. Press number five to lower it down again, and we can continue. It's as simple as that. Oh, we don't want to go too fast though, because that will create a bit of a mess. We'll be missing lots of the crop, and it will be very messy. Now, in case you're thinking the sound is different today, it is. I've been repositioning my microphone, and I don't know if it's for the best. <laughs> I have no idea. If the sound is worse, please do let me know. I can always put it back to where it used to be. If it sounds better, likewise, let me know, because then I can keep it here. Okay, so I think actually most of the uh, field is actually ready now, which is brilliant news. I have literally sat here for almost half an hour, waiting for it to grow. We don't need the beacons on, but it just looks amazing with it on. I think it is for the best that we actually do uh, keep it on cruise control number two, because cruise control number one is just obviously way too slow, and three is just way too fast. It won't even harvest, it will keep stopping. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to actually pick up these bales with the front loader and the base game bale trailer. Anybody who has played this game will now have their face in the palm of their hands because they already know this is going to be an absolute disaster <laughs> and no offence to Farming Simulator in itself because they actually improved it dramatically um, between 09 and 11 and obviously even better all the versions after that um, but as 09 was the very first version with bales uh, not cotton bales but straw bales um, let's just say that the way you stacked onto the trailer wasn't the best uh, if you could keep a bale on a trailer, you were doing a very good job. Uh, they did like to come off fairly often. Uh, and in fact, the worst thing we actually was that the bales got stuck to the, f to the spike or the fork, whatever you were using. Uh, you did have to be fairly careful. But it's history. It's been improved, and now it's fantastic. And actually, looking back, it's hilarious. The fun we used to have with the bales in 09, <laughs> it was incredible. But actually... There was, again, another fantastic mod pack. I think it was called the Straw Mod. Straw Mod for 09, which was released, and obviously that transformed everything. Really good bale handlers, really good trailers, even a locking script, so you could actually lock the bales onto the trailer. It was just, for the time, absolutely fantastic. So uh, that really did transform the game. And then, of course, 11 came out, and we didn't actually need the, that uh, particular mod anymore. It might have been transferred over, I'm not too sure. But 11 still wasn't that good. It wasn't that good for the bale handling. So having a locking strip for a trailer was very useful. All the way up until FS15, actually. Anyway, I'm going to continue here. We'll create as many bales as we need to. We'll probably do half the field. Because uh, I do want to actually load up some of these bales. And I know I'm only going to get about one or two onto a trailer anyway. In fact, if I get one on, I've done a good job. So I really do need to... Uh, just uh, give it a go. But look at that, the textures, they're very good. The textures are really good. I think most people will probably agree with me on this point. If you play FS09, the base game, with no mods, it's a game which you no longer would ever want to play. But if you, if you have 09 and you fully mod it out, if you can do, if, you, if there are enough mods left to actually use 
It's a game which you could still play, and you could still play many hours of it. And that, I'm pretty sure, is fairly true with a lot of people, that they'll be able to do that. I think I could, because this is only just a few mods on a multi-free map, and it's already, I'm sure you can appreciate, so much better than, well, what we had in the previous episode. Anyway, we'll get to the end of here, and we'll, uh, we'll just park up, and then what we'll do is we'll go and grab the front loader tractor, and the fun can really begin. We have another bale about to come out of here. But yeah, there was the auto stacker for the uh, for the cotton, and it really was fantastic. I'm saying this from watching other people's videos, by the way. I never used it myself, but I could see how easy it made it. I think most of the FS09 videos have also disappeared. There used to be so many on YouTube. There are still some about. I did actually look up this harvester, and there are about three or four videos. Uh, but there used to be so many people who used to upload clips, but the videos have just disappeared. I don't know if YouTube actually removed inactive channels or something, I'm not too sure. But there certainly has been a decrease in views and videos of the uh, 09 videos, which I suppose does make sense. Right, so what we'll do is we'll get one more out of here. We can't keep going up and down all day. After all, it is just a demonstration. There we go. Final bail. There we go. Looking good. Uh, I wonder if I can do a screenshot here. Hmm, pretty good. Right, okay. So I'll just move out of the way and turn it off. Just reverse over here. I think in real life the bales are possibly a bit larger. I'm not too sure. Obviously, I'm not trying to be critical here, because this mod is just really good anyway. It's just, yeah, I'm pretty sure they are a bit bigger. Now, for the person who commented in my previous episode, uh, they wanted to see the New Holland, because they were a bit mad that I <laughs> I bought the Massey Ferguson's and just sort of bypassed the New Holland we had in the shop. So here it is. It's another one of these mods which actually removes the heads-up display, or a part of it, the time at least. But it's pretty good. The beacons work and everything, the interior is fairly decent for the time. So there you go, the dual wheel, New Holland T730, there it is. Okay, so we may have to have a rear weight here, in fact I think we probably will do. Of course, using the front loader is nothing like using it in FS17, you can't use the mouse. We have to use J, N, M and K which in itself is fairly slow. Uh, I wonder if you can actually set up the SATEC side panel. Oh, that's messed it up. I shouldn't have done that. I've just touched my SATEC side panel and it's made it go berserk. Let's hope I can fix that. I've blown it. I have really wrecked it now. I have no idea what I've done. I've broken Farming Simulator. It's like a super sun. It's so bright. I don't know what to do. I've totally broken the game. Oh, I said it was going to turn out to be bad. Okay, bear with me. I'll try and fix it. Okay, so sadly, I can't actually find the reason why I was doing this. So we're just going to have to live with it, unfortunately. Now, I don't think we're going to be doing this for too long anyway, as it is just a demonstration. Um, if anybody does know, if you can remember back to the days of 09, if you ever had this happen to you, then uh, yeah, if you want to comment down below, that'd be greatly appreciated. But all I want to do really is just see how it picks it up. We may need to have a rear weight. Unless it is relatively light. Okay, that is definitely heavy. Yep. So what I'll do is I'll grab a rear weight and we'll try and pick it up. If I just pop into the shop here, you can see we've got a wide range of different things. It really was fantastic for the amount of different things we could buy. If we just go down to the weights, I think we'll go for the barrel weight as it is the heaviest one we can get. Uh, I did actually have one nearby, but I think I put it on the other tractor. Not to worry. We'll just go and grab it. After all, the shop is just over here. Now, I probably could get away with starting a new save game, and it will have fixed this issue. But it would mean replanting the cotton and waiting for a very long time again for it to grow, because it does take a while to do. 
And, uh, well, yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't look great playing like this, but in a way, it's quite fun. It almost was fun to try and break the game, and somehow I've managed to do it. It could be a wide range of different things. It could be the multi-fruit, it could be the John Deere cotton picker, maybe even the New Holland tractor. I've no idea, but hopefully it doesn't bother you. It doesn't bother me too much, although it is very bright. I might be able to turn it down a bit in editing, um, but it might make it look worse, so I'll probably just leave it. So here goes. Let's try and pick up this one. We've got a ton and a half on the back. Let's try and get this one here. That's better. Right, so you're about to see what the physics were like. Hmm, pretty much sums it up. I did say if you can load one bale onto the trailer, then you've done well. And as I say, I'm not trying to pick fault in the game or anything. I think everybody appreciates the game was like this. Um, it was absolutely fantastic for its time, and I think it is still fun now. And really, with the progress farming simulator has made, uh, obviously the developers should be proud, and I believe they are very proud of where the game is today. Okay, this is looking more promising. It would be better if I had the steering wheel, but you get the idea. <laughs> um, straw mod really did improve things. Obviously don't confuse straw mod with straw harvest for FS17. Obviously it's a different thing. Okay. Just try and notch forwards. So you can see what happens with the bale. It sort of goes through the front loader. The collisions weren't really right. Um, and then obviously if you get it on the trailer Ideally, it wants to stand up because otherwise it'd roll off. And that pretty much summarizes it. I did actually, I can remember fully loading a trailer. Round of applause here, please. Thank you. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, actually, I managed to get somewhere down. I did get down the road a bit, I didn't get too far. Um, but when I left the field, obviously, I had every bale. When I got probably halfway back to the yard, I had none. Yep. <laughs> it was, uh, well, actually, for the time, it was kind of frustrating. Because it, it did take a lot of work. But looking back, like I say, it's hilarious. I might try and stab it from the side if I can do. It might be solid, though. Of course, my stacking isn't that good anyway, so a professional would probably be better. I don't think you can do. No, you can't stab it from the side. So this is why the auto stacker really was fantastic. And if I could down, if I could download it, I would do, um, because it transformed everything. There might be a file lurking somewhere on the internet. If it's there, I will get it. I'll keep looking. Um, but as far as I'm aware, the link is broken, which is a shame. So that is the basics of cotton harvesting. Obviously you could then go and sell the cotton over to sell point, but we can't actually get it there, which is a, a, an issue, a very big issue. But that is also the John Deere 7760. I was just amazed to see that this is actually still there to download, and it downloaded perfectly. Um, basically anything which is a direct download from FSUK servers, it all works really well. That was what was so fantastic about having a direct download. Um, but as soon as it was a third party site, that's when there's an issue. So that is, like I say, the basics of cotton in FS09. There is multi-fruit, there's all the different things that you can do in all of the new versions of FS. You just have to find the mods and you just have to, well, be patient to do some things such as the bale moving and yeah, obviously it wouldn't normally look like this, it would be the normal graphics but the lighting has messed up for some reason. So hopefully, despite the failures which were expected, Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. One thing I did notice from the previous episode was, to begin with, the video which I put out got quite a lot of dislikes. And I can only put that down to people who haven't played it before, looking back and thinking, oh, that is terrible, I'm going to dislike the video. Maybe because they disliked the game, I'm not too sure. Maybe they did like dislike the video, which is fair enough. But then after time, the dislikes faded away. They didn't disappear, they slowed down. And the likes kept gaining. So I think later, the 
more experienced players, the more dedicated players who have obviously played for a very long time, uh, then found the video and thought, wow, um, looking back at this game is incredible. So it's interesting. As a YouTuber, putting the videos out, just looking at likes versus dislikes, is it's a story in itself. It does say quite a lot, even though I am just guessing the reasons why the first load of dislikes came in. Um, but I guess the same will happen to this video. No idea. But I just thought this series is just to sort of, you know, index what the game used to be like, what the game is like, before the mods are lost forever. Because I worry that that time is fairly near, as depressing as it sounds. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. And I'll see you again soon. I might even see you in FS09, <laughs> if there was multiplayer. See you again soon. Bye for now.